the James Webb Telescope is turning our picture of the early universe and the Big Bang upside down, confirming more and more measurements that scientists can't explain. In this video we take a look at it together, so be sure to stay tuned to the end for your daily cosmic identity crisis. If you like it, I'm galactically happy to get a thumbs up and a comment, because does the YouTube algorithm show this video to even more people? Thanks guys and welcome. The James Webb Telescope has made it into Time magazine, just in time for its first birthday after its launch in 2021. There the spectacular shots were chosen as the best photos of the year, and in my opinion quite rightly, for it has been apparent for some time, but on December 12, 2022, everything changed in space exploration. On this day on the conference, first science results from James Webb Space Telescope, were announced that the discoveries of the James Webb Telescope shortly after the Big Bang are now definitely confirmed. Everything was recalculated several times, all measurement errors can be excluded, so it is certain. James Webb has found by far the oldest galaxies in the cosmos. These galaxies already emitted light 13.475 billion years ago, that is unbelievable. Cosmologists assume finally that the cosmos itself is only 13.8 billion years old. So these galaxies were formed in fully functional form, so to speak, in a whopping 400 million years after the Big Bang. If you would have told this to most astronomers still two years ago, they would have laughed at you and held for crazy. And now it is proven fact. Why this is so revolutionary and could even throw our picture of the Big Bang over the heap, I tell you now. The new era that James Webb ushered in is due to the telescope's ability to see very faint infrared light. For the most distant objects, such as the first stars and galaxies, he visible light is stretched, by the inexorable expansion of the universe, into longer infrared wavelengths that are invisible to our human eyes and even some earlier space telescopes. But with the James Webb Telescope, measurements that were impossible until recently are suddenly quite feasible. Infrared astronomy, then, is nothing less than time travel. And this time travel has taken us to the oldest galaxies in the cosmos. Islands of stars that were actually thought to be completely impossible. Before James Webb, astronomers predicted that it would be impossible to find galaxies further back in time than 13.2 billion years. Well, how wrong one can be, astronomer Guido Roberts Borsani said at the conference just mentioned, but we found two even older galaxies. So something is a little strange. The question is, what is strange here? Is our understanding of the evolution of galaxies wrong? Or is our understanding of the Big Bang itself wrong? That galaxies existed so soon after the time we think the Big Bang occurred is now a proven fact. So that could either mean that galaxies can evolve differently and, more importantly, faster than we thought, or it could mean that the Big Bang itself happened even earlier or not at all. And that would really throw the cosmology over the heap. There is now some circumstantial evidence that could show us which answer is the correct one. But before I present those to you, let's do a little mood check. What do you think? How can these early galaxies be explained? What's the solution to the cosmological mystery? Could it really be that there was no Big Bang? Drop me your ideas in the comments, I'm super excited and will also reply to as many of your comments as possible, I promise. Spectra have been published for the first time for some of those very, very early galaxies that James Webb had targeted months ago. So we now have lots of details about these galaxy grandfathers. These spectra were created with the near-spec instrument, which uses its prism filter to pick up near-infrared light from 0.6 to 5.3 microns in wavelength. Astronomer Emma Curtis Lake says of these spectra, it's important to prove that these galaxies actually existed in the early universe, because galaxies closer to us can also pretend to be older under certain circumstances. So these spectra are definitive proof that we have not been duped here by galaxy imposters, but that these islands of stars really are that old, but they also tell us a lot about the composition of these objects. And that is really exciting and helps us further in solving the cosmological mystery, the spectral analyses show that these four galaxies studied were altogether very small collections of stars, with a star formation rate of about 1 to 2 solar masses per year. Thus, just 1 to 2 sun-like stars were formed there per year. They were also very metal-poor, 
thus contains still particularly few elements from which perhaps great exciting things could have been formed. So through these spectra, we now know that there wasn't really much going on in these galaxies at the beginning of the cosmos. There were probably fewer chemical compounds than I ingested in liquid form on my birthday yesterday. Producing videos with hangovers is really no fun folks. So this discovery is at least an indication that our understanding of the Big Bang is probably right after all. These galaxies were there very early, which is strange, but they were still very small and weak on the chest, which again fits well into the picture. A fact increases the confusion, nevertheless, then again so a little bit, the oldest stars in these galaxies, as far as one can prove with the spectra, were only about 100 million years old. So they must have been formed about 225 million years after the Big Bang and that is really early. I have somehow in the feeling that we do not know yet some piece of the puzzle. That something crucial is different than we think. But I personally think that the Big Bang theory is still the best we have right now. Because if one rejects the Big Bang, then one would have to present an alternative, which can explain the beginning of the universe, like the proven expansion. But I haven't heard any convincing other idea, if you disregard something like the simulation theory. But with this one would have to explain what is outside of the simulation, thus outside of the matrix. From this point of view, this doesn't really help much for the time being. I am convinced that next year we will make much more progress on our journey to the secrets of the cosmos. These were only discoveries from the first year of James Webb, and this has already turned cosmology upside down. And perhaps more importantly, with its spectacular photography, it has sparked enthusiasm for space even among people who otherwise have no interest in the subject, and it shows us that we humans can accomplish great things when we focus on science, technology, and progress, not on cargo bikes and tax increases. That makes me very optimistic about the future, and what can make you optimistic, once again, I've put together a longer documentary for you about exciting facts about black holes. Is our whole universe maybe part of a black hole? Or are we stuck in a white hole, since we have never discovered them before? Be sure to come back on Thursday, because you'll learn all about it. And if you want to support the channel, please visit my Astro Shop. Christmas isn't that long away, so browse a bit for nerdy gifts. Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care guys.